Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way through the Ainsel River. And we're also, at the end of the video, going to pick up the two map fragments in Kaelid. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen. And really all I did was change out my gear. And then I went ahead and put on a third talisman. I put on the green turtle talisman. You don't have to put on the same talisman. I just like this. Uh, it raises your stamina recovery speed. So pretty good if you're doing a lot of melee. Okay, now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and start making our way through the Ainsel River. Over there, we can see a bunch of big old ants. We'll be taking care of those in just a moment. First, we want to grab some items over here. Again, we're not going to be having markers on the map down here. There's no sense in having map markers down in the Ainsel River because it's very linear. Just one big tunnel, essentially. We're going to pull out our bow. We're going to use our bow to kill these ants. If you don't have a bow, you can always go over there and just take them out with a sword. Or if you have spells, that works as well. You're going to have to aim to hit that one. I don't know why it won't let you lock onto it, but it just won't. Grab this item here. Right there, you're going to see an ant run that way. It's an ambush. It's a trail. That ant's going to path down there. We'll worry about that ant in just a moment. First, let's take care of this guy. Be careful for their butt spit stuff. It's like acid. Get a smithing stone three. And then we want to walk over here, wait for an ant to pop out of the ground, take it out. Pretty easy. Go ahead and heal up. We have two more ants to worry about up top. They're going to fall down. Grab these items. The majority of what you're going to be fighting down here are the ants and mudmen. We are going to go up that way in just a moment, but first we want to come down this area. We'll end up backtracking back through here. We just have to grab a few items first. I mean, I guess we don't have to. Over here, if we look to the right, we can see it all down there. We're going to be going down there, but... We're actually going to take that tunnel to go down the path where you see the ruins and stuff. There's a couple items that we want over there. We just came up here to light the grace and uh, bring down this elevator as well. We'll activate this summoning pool. Light this grace. And then if you want, you can just hop straight over here. You won't die. 
You just hop right off. Won't even take fall damage. We're just going to backtrack to the area where that ant was eating a corpse. Hop up top here. Here's where we want to stop. There is a ton of ants, and I mean a ton of them, all up top here. So what I like to do is shoot one, get it to fall down. And just take them out one by one. Just easier this way. And then we can go over to this queen ant with the oh nope, you blended in. Oops. Okay, now we can come over to the queen ant. That's just over here. We can kill her and get ourselves a ruin tin and a ruin arc. So over here, that's where we were up on that bridge, or I guess it's more of a dam. You can see the water coming down. That's where we were up and we sent the elevator down. Grab a smithing stone four. Grab some Celestial Dew. Be careful for the Mudmen. Just grab all the items you can. Over there is where the elevator is at that we sent down. I know I just said that, but I figured I would highlight it again. Grab a Golden Rune 1. If you want, you can jump up over here. Grab yourself a ghost glove wart. And then we could go through that doorway over there. But if you come over to the right. And we come up over here. We can go up an alternate area. And get a few extra items. Along with kill an annoying enemy. I want to say it's a mini boss. But it kind of isn't. Just stand behind this pillar when it starts glowing purple gonna shoot a bunch of rocks at you you can come over here grab this item turn around immediately go behind the pillar and then run again gonna shoot some purple stuff at us again or well I guess it's not really purple stuff it's rocks but still Wait for it to shoot its rocks off. We're going to run over here. Jump, grab the item, hop right back down. Get hit by a bunch of rocks. Because I'm trashed here. We're going to run. And don't stop running. Hey, you're probably going to get hit with a few of the rocks, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. We're going to hop down. We're going to stay behind this pillar. Pull out our bow. Shoot it two times. Hide behind the pillar. And then shoot it two times and hide behind the pillar. 
Sometimes you can get a third one off if you're lucky. But my advice, shoot it two times. Just go behind the pillar and then shoot it two more times. Just keep doing that. Rinse and repeat. Now we can pull our Bloodhound's Fang back out. If we come over here, we can hop down. There's an item over there. We'll be getting that in just a moment. We're just going to hop down here first. I'm going to pick up the map for the Ainsel River. Let's talk to this merchant. Is someone there? A customer? Well, how long has it been? We're going to buy a few items from him. Number one, we're going to get the Lost Ashes of War. Celestial Dew. Now we have three Celestial Dews. We're going to pick up the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 16. Then the Perfumers Cookbook 4. And this stuff... Like always, I'll be getting off screen. I'm probably going to stop telling people that because at this point you should know that I'm not going to buy it um, while I'm recording. We're going to veer off to the left, grab some goodies. Careful of the mud men. Grab that golden rune three. And then up here to the left, there's a doorway. That's where we would have come out if we didn't go down that dark path earlier, that little side path. Grab some throwing daggers. Which I finally sold <laughs> some of my throwing daggers so I could actually pick some up for a change. This is where I'm trying to go, right behind this wall. Grab some shield grease. And we're going to come up here. Grab a golden rune too. Grab a formic rock if you want. There's a bunch of formic rock down here as well if you want to scoop all that up then we got a smithing stone three let's go ahead and light this grace and then we're going to activate the summoning pool pop down here we have some more ants to kill so like always let's pull out our bow Start taking out some of these ants. There is quite a few of them. They're really not that hard to kill, even if you use your sword. So keep that in mind. Grab the immunizing horn charm. It's going to help our immunities. If you put that on. Grab a crystal dart. And then over here is going to be our first run in with some basilisks. Basilisks are the same as Dark Souls Basilisks. They spew out this black smoke. If you stand in that black smoke too long, it will cause death. And if that bar fills all the way up, you are dead. There's no curing it, like poison or anything like that. You just outright die. Do not pass go. You do not collect $200. Get 
get some uh, butterflies in a somber smithing stone. And then we're just going to backtrack on down. We have two more ants to kill. Grab a ghost glove wart too. Kill that ant. And this ant. Then we'll veer off to the left to grab an item. Just some melted mushrooms. Grab some ghost glove wart too. And then we are coming up to a boss fight. This boss fight isn't hard, it's just another dragon kin soldier this time it is going to be of noxtella let's go ahead and buff our weapon then we can two-hand it as soon as you see oleg being able to summon summon him up and the dragonkin soldiers going to fall down this one is actually in my opinion easier than the one in the soifra river Want to be careful for that attack. He doesn't normally do that, but it happens. Just trying to show off some of his attacks that most of you probably won't see because you'll kill him fairly quickly, being that he's an easier boss fight. For killing him, we get the Frozen Lightning Spear. Pretty cool spell. Pretty cool spell. She used out a bunch of Frozen Spears, obviously. And I believe it does electrical damage. I believe that's what um, the Dragonkin Soldier was using. Right here, we're going to get a Great Ghost Glove Wart. You can use that to max out one of your legendary spirit ashes. Let's light this grace. We're going to sit at this grace. And we're going to pass time until morning. And the reason why is because we're going to be going over to a merchant where a, an NPC can invade us. And they're quite difficult. Let's hit R3. We're going to zoom out. We're going to put a few markers down. But we're also going to go over to the Summon Water Village outskirts. After we put these markers down. The first marker is going to be over here. By the Smoldering Church. The second marker is going to be about right. I would say about right here. Third one right over here. And then when we open this up, I'll go ahead and put another marker here. But our fourth marker should be right there. Now let's go over to the Summon Water Village outskirts. I'll see everybody over there. Put our lantern on. Then we're going to hop on Torrent. Be aware we are going to be invaded once we get over to this church. This is going to be the smoldering church. It's not a very hard invasion. We could have done this a long time ago, but I've been trying to do everything in order. The only thing I th think we're not going to be able to do 
is all of Kaled because once you get to the top of Kaled, the difficulty curve ramps up drastically. So I think we'll do all of the bottom of Kaled and then come back and do the rest of Kaled later. Okay, so we hopped off Torrent. That means that we're about to get invaded. She's going to summon up right here. She's dead. Super easy fight. Not hard at all. For killing her, we get the Sacred Scorpion Charm. If we come over here, we can get a couple cookbooks as well. We're going to get the Missionaries Cookbook 3. And we're going to get the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 14. Let's go ahead and light this grace. Now we're going to just come out to this road and follow it on up. We're not going to be grabbing any items. We'll be grabbing those as we go through Kaled. There's a grace right there if anybody wants to light it. We're not going to light that grace. I'm going to wait until we get over towards the map fragment. There's a grace close by that we're going to light. And the main reason for doing that, so we can de-aggro enemies and we can fast travel to it. Be careful for these dogs. You do not want to stop and look at them. They hurt pretty bad. So we're traveling east. I was close. I was close. Just over here, we can jump across. And this is going to bring us to the Dragon Burrow. This is the grace that I was talking about. We're going to light this. We're not going to bother resting at it. There's no point. We'll uh, rest at the one at the Merchant Shack because we'll most likely have a bunch of enemies aggroed to us. Get rid of this marker over here. And then down here, we're going to grab our first map fragment. This is the Dragon Burrow map. And then right over here, we'll put a marker down. We're going to head west. Just follow this road. There's going to be a ton of dogs on this road. I wouldn't uh, stop. I just keep running. The second you stop, they have some pretty brutal attacks that'll knock you off torrent. Let's go around this here. But we're going to light the grace inside the shack and then we're going to sit at it to de aggro the dogs. If they even aggroed to us. Looks like we got lucky. None of them saw us. That doesn't normally happen. If they see you, just rest at this grace and it'll uh, reset their AI. Let's go ahead and talk to this merchant. Well, there's been an age since I've seen a customer. How can I help here at the end of the earth? So we're going to purchase a few things, but the most important thing that we're going to purchase is the beast repellent torch. This is going to allow us to go right past the dogs without them attacking us. We can also grab the Lost Ashes of War. We can pick up this Ritual Pot. We can always use that. And then the Dragon Wound Grease. This is going to come in handy a little later into the walkthrough when we're fighting a few dragons. And then all this stuff, as always, you know, I'm going to pick it up off screen. Have a safe journey. So now we can go ahead and fast travel down to the Dragon Burrow West. What I'm going to do is come over here and take this marker off and then put it back down. So we only have one marker. I'll see everybody over at the Dragon Burrow West.
Let's turn our lantern on. And we're going to turn around where we're facing southwest. And we're going to jump back across. If you want to use the beast repellent torch now, you can. You'll be able to get right past all these dogs without them messing with you. Over here we see some runes. Just head west. We're going to get back on the on the road here that way nobody gets lost so just head west and you'll hit this road and then we're gonna take the road south now as we're riding down this road just know there is quite a few enemies down this way so if you don't want them to aggro to you, you can always veer off to the left or the right so that they don't see you. I'm not really worried about it. If we get hit by them here and there, not really that big of a deal. We're just going to be running to the last map fragment here. Kalid is probably going to be one of our more difficult areas. Like, the difficulty curve definitely ramps up. I was debating or not if we would go to Kalid first, but I ended up deciding we should go at least a little bit into Kalid. Now, over here, there is a dragon. Be really careful. You want to come over here and just jump through these roots you don't want to get the attention of the dragon that dragon can kill you really fast it's got rot breath and it's just super strong we'll be killing it in a few episodes but we'll also be leveled up a little bit more as well let's get rid of this marker and then we will grab this last map fragment now we have all of Kalid opened up. Let's talk to this merchant. I am not selling. We're going to purchase the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 15. Then we're going to grab this Stone Sword Key. And we're going to grab a Cracked Pot. Everything else I will be buying off screen. Now that we have all of Kalid opened up, we can start working on it. And what I was talking about earlier is all, all up here is pretty difficult. I'm not sure if we'll end up doing the top portion um, of Kalid or not. I guess I'll just have to wait and see. But we definitely are going to do the bottom portion of Kalid. We're going to finish up all of this bottom portion and maybe the top portion. We'll see how everything goes. If it goes well, then yeah, sure, we'll we'll do all this top uh, portion. If not, we'll uh, just do the bottom and come back and do the top later. For now, let's go ahead and fast travel over to the Smoldering Church. After we fast travel over there, we'll end the video. So I'll see everybody over there. Alrighty, everyone. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.